This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO and founder of New Plaster Dome Gold, Mr. Max. Sally, Max, it's been a bit. It's great to have you back on. How are you? It's great to uh, speak to you again. Happy New Year. Everything is really good on our end, especially on the, the Bolo front. I'm glad we were able to get that deal done and uh, some good news, uh, good news on Monday on the asset. Well, I, I think, you know, using your word, you hit it right on the nose, right? Really good news from Bolo. You just defined some new drill targets at a sep- at the separate zone at the Bolo Gold Silver Project in Nevada. Bolo is one of these projects that I think if it was a standalone project and it, and it wasn't in the shadow of Kinsley, um, it, it actually would probably have a higher valuation assigned to it by the market. As it stands, though, the last couple of releases from New Plaster Dome have been pretty, pretty, I think, consequential for 2022 and Bolo kind of, you know, setting itself apart. Can you speak to these new targets here that that you've been able to define? Yeah, so just to remind everyone, Bolo was actually our flagship asset when we listed in uh, April of 2019. Uh, Then we acquired Kinsey. So you're right, Kinsey's kind of been the, the big guy and it still is. And so Bolo's living in its shadow. Uh, And we almost lost Bolo. In 2021, the markets were tough. We raised uh, $5 million, but that was for Kinsley. We would have had to make the tough decision to drop Bolo. Luckily, we got this transaction done, kept Bolo, and got uh, boots on the ground in December and hit hit the ground hard and uh, shot some geophysics on a separate zone. So separate, meaning not the South Mine Fault, not Uncle Sam, but on the other side of the South Mine Fault, so to the north. And when we first acquired Bolo, the first thing we did was we shot geophysics on the South Mine Fault. We then drilled the South Mine Fault, and every single hole we hit in 2019 in that summer hit substantial grade oxide. And so this new geophysics on the whole separate zone is showing similar to what the South Mine Fault did before we drilled that. And so that's a lot of potential for us because if we can get the same numbers out of this separate area like we did at the South Mine Fault, that's huge potential for Bolo. Uh, I know that Red Cloud has an analyst report coverage on us right now, and in their opinion, their analyst opinion, Bolo currently has a mineral reserve of about 427,000 ounces just at the South Mine Fault. So if you can show the same thing on a new zone, that's where you can potentially get to a million. Well, I think it's important to note, and you mentioned the oxide nature of the mineralization that you've hit in the known zones that have been drilled. It's important to highlight those are near surface or at surface oxide material, right? Those are near surface and they are at surface. Uh, So far, everything we've hit at Bolo is oxide. Eventually, as you go deeper, you get into this transitional shale. But right now, Bolo is 100% oxide. What comes next for Bolo and Kinsley? And then I'm going to ask you a quick follow-up question after that, which is, of course, how is the deal with Copar coming along? So what happens next to Bolo is we have an obligation this year. We have to spend about 1.25 USD at Bolo. Uh, So that will happen. We'll we'll put out our plans probably following the transaction. Um, Kinsley has the geophysics team on there right now. They're starting at the far north and working their way back towards uh, the current uh, resource, and that's where we're trying to get some new targets up there. So that's getting done. We should put out some news on Kinsley in the next couple of weeks. We're hoping to do a site visit to Kinsley sometime in mid-February uh, and, and pick some drill targets based on the results of the geophysics. Uh, and then on the transaction, the lawyers are doing the due diligence. We're doing our due diligence, getting everything in order. And uh, what I've heard from our lawyers is we're hoping to sign the definitive agreement by February 9th or around that date. That, and then we can proceed with the, the financing. Well, that'll come very quickly. And I suspect we'll get a lot more transparency on follow-up drill plans for both Bolo and Kinsley, as well as those geophysics news on Kinsley. Sounds like 2022 is going to be a heck of a year for New Plaster Yeah, Dome. and just one more thing to, to note is that Liberty Gold, I do have their votes in favor of this transaction, along with a number of the other funds that have come into the private placement previously. And so we do have the votes to move this forward, which is exactly what we want. And correct me if I'm wrong, but my, my understanding is you also have the, the, the full support as far as generating these new targets at both Kinsley and Bolo and following those up, correct? Correct. Excellent. Max, a lot to look forward to in 2022. I think we're entering a much better environment in the gold space. We've had, you know, roughly a year and a half long consolidation. It looks like that's looking to bottom if it hasn't already. And that bodes really well for both New Placer Dome and Copar. Anything to add to that? 
Yeah, you know, I was uh, watching Bloomberg yesterday, and something that was interesting that I listened to was that the average gold price in 2021 was seventeen ninety nine an ounce. That is the highest average gold price in the history of gold. And so even though there was a consolidation, you know, that the sentiment kind of changed, people forget that. And so, you know, this could be a really big year for, for everyone in the sector. It was a big year for producers. They had record revenues, and we're hoping that it trickles down to the juniors. Well, let's hope that it trickles down and that you get a couple of discoveries of both Kinsley and Bolo. Yes, sir. All right, Max. Looking forward to having you back on. Thanks again for that thorough update. Appreciate it. Thanks, Gerardo.